Hello. So I've been very busy the past, few, the past few days working on a whole bunch of things. One of the main things that I've been working on is how the motor connects to, you know, the legs, the, the output, how the input connects to the output. Um, so what I've got here is the motor a coupler. It's called a rigid coupler. As you can see, the motor output shaft has a flat part and set screws and uh, yeah, the set screws grab onto that, and then I'm gonna have the shaft going through the pulley, pulley, and then the bearing. I don't have the gearbox housing yet, but I still need to work out a couple things. So if you view it from this angle, you can um, you can see that that one connects to right there, that one connects to right there. I'm orthographic view right now, so it's not perspective. Okay, and then you have your other motor. I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a single plate that connects these. So it's going to be a plate, and this motor is going to connect to it from here via this and this here. And the other motor is just going to connect to the plate from the other side, from that hole and that hole right there. Okay, Um, what else? So I'm thinking that I might actually use two batteries. I looked it up on McMaster. Uh, this is the site that we use for um, for buying stuff. Anyways, it's uh, there are two six volt batteries that I'm gonna hook up in series, and I'll have a little less amp hours. I'll have 4.5 instead of seven, but theoretically it's just still run for about an hour, so that'll be good. And the reason that I'm doing this switch is so that it's just more space efficient. That's that's the real reason. Um, also, I figured out how I'm going to what I'm going to do with these joints. So what I'll do is I'll have a clevis pin with a spring clip on the other side. So it'll just have a three eighths inch head, a three sixteenths body, and on the other side I'll just have a little bit of a nub with a spring clip to hold it in place. Um, I just thought it would be the simplest way to do it because I mean you know what's simpler than that well I mean except for interference fit but that'd be too much calculations and room for error better just do it this way what else oh oh also um, if we have time I might consider putting these flanges on the pulleys using thermal shrinking okay I know it's kind of a crazy idea but uh, we just kind of have to use the blowtorch on these flanges and maybe put the pulley in the freezer. We, we, we could try it out. It might be fun. It might be fun. All right, what else? Um, I think that's it. Uh, the shaft. Well, I'm not going to make the shaft until I... Oh, oh, one more thing. So right now I'm trying to decide if I should have two bearings or just one bearing because this belt needs to be tensioned and that belt needs to be tensioned and then this shaft's going to have a lot of weird loads on it if i had just that one bearing then the motor output shaft would be taking some of that weird load if i had two bearings one of them right over here between the two pulleys and this other bearing so sort of the two pulleys would be between the two bearings then that would sort of protect the motor, but then I'd have to have two more plates and a little bearing, and it would it would complicate the design. But it might be necessary, so I'll look into that. I'll also look into the simplest way of tensioning this belt because I I don't want to have to add like a bunch of yeah. Anyways, I want to make it as simple as possible. But you know that's that's all I've been doing. Um, I'll get back with more updates, but it seems right now that I'm not going to finish the design before the beginning of the school year, as I haven't even really started with the frame, although that shouldn't be too hard once I have everything else down. Um, probably I won't need to be done by the beginning of the school year, because we're not going to immediately jump into manufacturing. I'm probably going to want to actually prototype one of the legs to make sure that the whole pin thing works and there's not too much friction and yeah, yeah I, I just gotta make sure that it'll work out fine um 
and then of course I'll have to order some of this stuff and take measurements and yeah it'll it'll be a long process but it will be a good one anyways um hope you guys are looking forward to this because I sure am uh so yeah tuning out I'll see you guys next time